All right. So this is my Harman Kardon amplifier, and you can see it was made in China in 2008, October. That means it's a few years old, and I use this thing for my Let me put this here. I use this for my computer as an amplifier to get the computer sound into my speakers. And let me turn this thing on. This is the on button. You can see that lights up. And then let's see what it does. So when I turn it on, light flickers a little. It switch, switches to the inputs. There's nothing connected to it now. Then it gives this error message, and then it turns back off. So, something is broken in it. The question is what, and uh, do I fix it? 2008, now we have 2020, so 11 and a half years old. Or what? Let's see, and... So, here we are. You can see the dust on this. So, wow, man, it's dusty. So I do have to blow this out a little. I'm gonna take it outside and use an air compressor and then I blow it off the dust first and then we see from there. You see the cooling here from those transistors there? Wow, so I'm going to take this outside and clean it. So, by the way, when we are open, we are unplugged, right? And then we use a multimeter here. And we check the fuses first. So here I see one that fuse is good and there's a second one also good then we have those resistors here good also good down here is a resistor yep. this one here not good so that one is blown Let's see this one here also, those two resistors are blown. That's not... There's one. Second one. There you go. There's four. Heavy. How do those come out? Man. This one seems to be somehow 
not wanting to come loose. I think they're all good. And be careful now with the soldering iron to not contact over there. There we go, here we are. Look at it. So we have both roots now. And now we can also measure the capacitors here because now between here and here is no connection. So we can measure if those guys are good or not. They are all open now in theory. So they are the capacitors are not supposed to have a short. There is signs here for capacitors, here, here and here. This is supposed to be open. Those are open. Those caps are open. Those are open. So let's solder them back in. There goes one. Here goes the other. There's one here. One more here. And there we go. those in the device and then one more there we go now they are back in see this one and this one replaced so we're gonna have to solder this back on but this one I'm gonna step down oh that's gonna be annoying One. So we take a quick look on what we did. With the multimeter we checked those fuses here if they were good. We also checked those resistors if they have 0 0.047 ohms I think. And those two here, this one and this one was on infinite so they were blown off. Both of them basically were blown. So we placed those both as we had the resistors off and the whole board of the transformer we had to unsolder all those connections here and those two so as this board was off the transformer we measured those capacitors here they all seem to be okay now after we are done here we do need to turn this thing on and then measure all those voltages here that are supposed to come out there is voltages written on it and so we have to check every single voltage if it doesn't work. Maybe it even works already. So we're going to see how that goes. So we have to reconnect it now. And then screw this back in here. 
like the thing goes in here like this um, this little connector goes down here it's a little hidden only fits once and then those two here have to be connected here's one with three connections on this side one with two there and then down here not sure if I can get the camera over here like this I see can I go in here like this yeah without falling over I have the feeling it's moving but okay all right so <coughs> Power is disconnected, but here we see this connector has to be plugged in here. See that? This all does its trick here. Okay. We need a cable tie here. And then this one also has to be cable tied to here, those ends, and then we need to put the screws back in to mount the transformer. Let's get one through here. You basically do the same thing what they did, you know? as they assembled it. So this one is in there. And we do one more here. Get those cables situated. So there comes the moment of truth now. I do have this one connected here to the CD input. And I have this little zoom player here where I can play this. And then we're gonna plug this in here. So I input that and then we turn it on. And then see this have the light flickers is a good sign that it puts a lot of power. And we see, oh, uh, there we go, see? Works again.
Okay. So that seems to work again.